All right, so what we're doing today, we got a uh, set of Edelbrock heads that uh, uh, we see this a lot. They came into our shop and uh, they were freshened by a, another shop, but uh, I don't know who it was. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, bottom line is what I'm going to show you guys is if you look at the valve stem heights on this, okay, see how that one the exhaust valve is not touching the straight edge, but the two intake valves are, and then this exhaust is not, that exhaust is not, these two intakes are, that exhaust is not. So now, after we did the valve job, we're going to stick the straight edge on here and show you the what it's supposed to look like. So now, if you look at that, you can see that the uh, valve stem heights are all exactly the same. And you can do that with your, uh, if you have a good machine, we've got a real good uh, seat and guide machine, and it allows us to set the height uh, of all the valve seats uh, so we can make them all exactly the same. And, uh, but anyways, it's not a big, big deal. Uh, however, it does uh, screw with valve train geometry a little bit. And if, uh, you know, you're trying to make everything uh, blueprinted or perfect, then you want all your stem heights to be exactly the same. You don't want to be uh, staggered like the other head that we haven't done yet are. So I just thought I'd show you guys this real quick. And then maybe later I'll bring up, uh, I'll go out there and I'll show you the valve seat machine and show you how it operates and uh, why we can get all the stem heights the right uh, height. 